You're watching the news at one. Thanks for staying with us. 14-year-old Naledi Pafane is already a seasoned app developer and coder. She has designed an app called Lunch Order, which is supposed to help busy parents with ordering and having their children's school lunches delivered. Another app of hers uses GPS signals to confirm a person's residence, which can be used by institutions that need proof of residence. A third app of hers suggests alternative routes to help motorists avoid traffic jams. She joins me in studio now. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News, Naledi. Tell me about your company, Spectrum, and how it came about. Well, um, how Spectrum came about, well, I kind of saw a need um, for innovative ideas mm -hmm. and I started to think of ways I could solve people's problems because there's a lot of people who often complain a lot you know they complain saying oh I have this problem I have this problem or they want while, while they're complaining they want either someone like the government or someone with higher powers to help them which often doesn't happen so I decided to take it into my own hands and try and solve these problems people have every day. Now you're a coder, uh, you've been awarded Girl Coder of the Week before, how did you get into that and how would you suggest other teenagers get into that? Well I'm not, I'm not very well versed in coding, mm -hmm. I'm more on the business analysis and um, kind of entrepreneurship side. Okay, I see. So I don't do, my dad is the one who's the developer who does most of the coding, but I'm also learning with him. Um, we just use coding to solve these problems and so on. So you come up with the solutions and then your dad has to implement them or implements them. You work together and he implements them with, with the coding that he does. Yeah, kind of like a tag team. Kind of okay, thing, yeah. and together with that tag team, you did uh, this app called Vula Robot. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that and the prize that you won because of that. Well, um, about the Open Robot, well, Vula Robot. Um, Open Robot is a app that allows you to, well, that reduces traffic congestions around cities mm -hmm. um, using the traffic lights opening and closing. And I mean, not to make people scared or afraid, um, just tweaking on, how do I explain this? Um, if I drive up with mm -hmm. my car and the cell phone, yeah. and I've got your app on my phone, what happens? Can I change the robot? No, you can't change the robot. The okay. app changes it for you. Okay. Yeah, so like it calculates that how far you are from the robot. Oh, I see. And then it allows the op robot to open depending on how far or how close you are to the robot. I was so a bit worried about that when I yeah, heard that. I don't think <laughs> um, people should have the power to just open robots by themselves. Yes. Yeah. So you are working on these apps with your father. Um, you're doing, you've been um, named in the Mail and Guardian uh, 200 young people. You're doing media interviews like today. Mm -hmm. How do you balance that with your schoolwork? Well, I don't think it's, it's not really, it's more of how you manage your time okay. and having kind of like a timetable, not only at school, but at home. You know, there's a certain time you do this and a certain time you do that. Um, another thing that I, yeah, timetables, mm -hmm. you know, just managing your time. And another thing that I do is just use the time, maybe if I'm driving to school or driving back from school, that's a time where we brainstorm, you know, think about business. Yeah, it's not all the time that we are on business, you know, yeah. So we still live our normal lives, just, yeah, special times where we have the time to think yeah. and brainstorm. You've spoken a lot about how you want to find solutions and how you're interested in business. This lunch app, tell us a little bit about that and did that come about because of your parents' experience perhaps on a day-to-day -day basis with, with school and lunch? Yeah, a lot of the times my parents are busy, you know, they're trying to put together lunch and it sometimes a horrible lunch because <laughs> they don't have time and they're like sorry and all they can do is apologize but if what if you could order the lunch 
without hassle, without, you know, all this hassle mm -hmm. and problems in the morning, so on and yeah. How long does it take from the beginning of an idea like that where you decide you're not enjoying your parents' lunch and you don't you want to take the hassle out to implementing it? How long does that take? It doesn't really take long. I think a lot of people, the reason why they see a problem and then they think they try to get a solution for it, the reason why it takes so long to implement it is because they don't just start. You know, if you think, oh, okay, example, with my example, I, my parents just couldn't, they can't cope with the mm -hmm. lunchbox. So like, okay, is there another way? What if someone can already be pre-made? What if it can be pre-made, but then how do people access it? I'm like, okay, maybe we can do an app mm -hmm. so people can access it. So you kind of put ideas together and think. It doesn't take that long. Mm -hmm. When you uh, go forward with your life and career, is this what you see yourself doing um, perhaps after matric when you go to university in the entrepreneurship space and in the app space? Yeah, I do see myself. Um, doing this in the future but I also have interests in science and art so I also want to venture into those as well. Naledi thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Naledi Pafane an entrepreneur and app developer speaking to us there about her business spectrum.